Now this video is going to describe how to use the basic features of Cisco Packet Tracer, which is a free download from your Netacad site. So once you log on to your Netacad, you will be able to see Download Packet Tracer and put it on your PC. It's one of the most uh, powerful simulation tools that I've used and they keep improving it year to year. So what we're going to start off with here is looking at the devices. So I'm going to go down to where I see my routers. I'm going to pull out a router. I'm going to then go down and click on switches and I'm going to grab the very first switch will do fine. And then I'm going to click on the end devices and pick a generic PC and then I'll also pick a laptop. And there's lots of other things that you can play with in here. Uh, you can have the WAN simulation. You can add advanced custom made devices. Uh, Multi-user, which I use in a high school program. We probably won't get to it to college level. We'll see. Here's all my connections. The first one here. The second one's a console. Third one's a copper straight through. Copper rot, copper straight through, and then the copper rollover. You have a fiber, and then you have your DCE serials. So when, if you click on something you don't want to use it, you just hit the escape key. So my tool is a select tool. So you can see I can select things. Click on the router, exit. Up at the top right, you can click on the select tool. You click on the hand, which you can move things, the whole background or the work area. You can add documentation. Once you click off it, it goes back. Your delete tool, so if I needed to delete possibly this router or maybe this uh, text box I just added. Some other views over here we'll get to later. So back to the select tool top right and click on my router. Notice I have empty slots here and there's a power on and power off button. So I'm going to power off. Click on WIC 1 AM and then you can read the description. But generally we use the WIC 1Ts. So once the machine is off, you click on WIC 1T and you grab the card and you add it. So I'll just fill up both slots, turn it back on. If I go to Config tab, it's telling me the device is still booting. So you have to wait about 15 to 20 seconds and then you can get in. And then I can see all my interfaces here. We're not going to use the config tab very much. Where we want to stay is in the CLI, command line. So I'm going to go ahead and exit that out. Let's click on a switch. Notice that there's no power on or off under the config. Same thing, you see all the fast ethernets. So you're 1 through 24. And then once again, the command line. Close it. Go to my PC. I have a config tab. I set my IPs for DHCP. I got IP6. I can add fast Ethernet. I can add my IP address and my subnet mask. If I click on desktop, I got IP config. I can do my IP settings there. And your terminal, web browser, things like that. Laptop will have something a little bit different. Very similar on the config tab. IP6, fast Ethernet. Desktop is very similar. IP, set your IPs. So now that we're in the router command line, all I have to do now is press enter. And then I can go to enable. Go to config T. If you type enough of the command, C-O-N-F, and press the tab key, it will autofill. And I did config T and press tab, it goes config terminal. And then I can configure things. And you'll get this more in the lab. What I want to show you now is, and realistically, when you configure a router or a device for the first time, we're going to connect it with a rollover cable. So it's this blue cable down here on the, when you click on the connect or the, the wires, you click on console, click on your PC, connect it to the RS-232, which is nothing more than a COM port. Click on the router and click connect it to the console port. 
Now what I would do is go to terminal on my config on my desktop tab. Settings are 96. Data, data bits 8, parity none, stop bits 1, and flow controls none. Now I'm in config terminal. So this is a short tutorial on how to get the basics of Packet Tracer going. So you can now explore these on your own.